European football's governing body announces a full independent investigation into the chaos that marred the Champions League final in Paris. The murder of a popular Punjabi singer just a day after his security cover was reduced sparks anger in India. And as Stonehenge is lit with pictures of Queen Elizabeth for her jubilee, we look at the image of Britishness the Queen projects around the world. The UN nuclear watchdog says Iran's stockpile of enriched uranium has continued to grow substantially and Tehran has done little to answer questions about traces of uranium found at three undeclared sites. The IAEA says the amount of uranium enriched Iran has is many times beyond the limit imposed by the international nuclear deal agreed in 2015. The Canadian government has introduced tough new legislation to crack down on the sale, transfer and importation of handguns. Rifle magazines will also be limited to no more than five rounds. The Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, said there was no reason anyone needed guns in their everyday lives except for hunting or sports shooting. Now, the Canadian government has introduced some tough new legislation to crack down on the sale, transfer and import of handguns. Rifle magazines are also going to be limited to no more than five rounds. The Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, said there was no reason anyone needed guns in their everyday lives except for hunting or sports shooting. He said the government had a duty to act against rising gun violence. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer or import handguns anywhere in Canada. The authorities in Nepal have located the bodies of all but one of 22 people on board a plane that crashed in the Himalayas on Sunday. Two Germans, four Indians and 16 Nepalis were on the flight, which normally lasts just 20 minutes. An investigation into the cause of the crash has been launched. I want to turn to another story for you now about a sweeping new agreement between China and Pacific Island nations, which now looks in doubt after several countries in the region raised objections to parts of the deal. Now, China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi has been in Fiji, where he met with his counterparts as part of a diplomatic blitz that roused deep concern amongst Western nations. Andy Murray, who survived the Dunblane attack, tells us about his shock at the latest school shooting in America. I heard something on the radio the other day, and it was a child from that school, you know, and I experienced a similar thing when I was at Dunblane and a teacher, like, you know, coming out and waving all of the children, like, under tables and telling them to go and hide.